Hello. It's Michelle and this is Honey. Honey is my seven-year-old Sato from Puerto Rico. Um, she's out here with me today. I'm not in my studio. Instead, I'm out here to do a Sunday fun day quick little craft with me with some basic products, um, making a really fun product which is decoupaged seashells. So this one is Boston and I made this for my friend's garden because we just came back from Boston. If you watched my stories, you might've seen my little 4th of July trip there. And I thought this would be cute in her garden. So I did the outside and the inside. Um, it also could be a cute little bowl. You could put shells or coins or something in it. But um, to be outside, I'll have to put on um, a coating of probably like a water-resistant um, Rust-Oleum spray so that it can be outside. But for inside, it's totally fine or porch or covered porch. I also made a couple smaller ones so that, you know, if you had a dish of shells, you could, you know, make this like, look at this. Life is better at the beach. Oh, it so is. And the outside is decorated as well. And I made one with coral on it. And one that has several layers. So, let's get right into it. First, I'm going to go over the basic products. Um, I'll show a picture at the end of this description so that you can do a little checklist at home. But basically, we're looking at these items. We are looking at napkins. We are looking at Mod Podge. I'm using the matte Mod Podge, but you can use a, um, a, a shiny finish if that's kind of like what you prefer, a gloss. We need some water, a flat paintbrush, some scotch tape, another little paintbrush, or I'm going to actually use a watercolor pen um, and your shells. It's basic stuff that probably everybody has. Um, and if you don't have any Mod Podge, you can run to the dollar store. They sell it there. Um, not in that big of a container, but enough for this project. Um, and worst comes to worst, you could always use Elmer's glue water down if you wanted to, as so long as you weren't using it outside. So that's it. We're going to get jump right into the project. I'm going to um, set it up on my tripod and I'll be right back. I'm back. Um, we're about to start and hopefully you'll be able to hear me okay. It seems everybody's starting to mow their lawn and my neighbors are out doing their thing and the traffic has started to pick up. So hopefully the noise will be okay. Um, but we'll hope for the best. So the first thing we want to do is choose a napkin. And um, I am going to, I found this beautiful napkin. I don't even remember where. Um, but if you stick with me and watch the whole video, I'll do a little giveaway at the end of the video for some of the napkins that I use so that somebody watching will be able to do this project um, with the specific items that I'm actually using the actual napkins and I will open that up worldwide. So it's a little giveaway but maybe worth sticking around and watching the whole thing. So here we go. When you have a napkin and you're going to decoupage, usually you're going to have a two or three um, ply napkin and sometimes you're not even sure which ply it is. Um, people struggle sometimes to get them apart. The best trick I have is to take a piece of tape and quickly rip. And what that does is it opens the first layer. Now this particular tape that I bought is super sticky and when I was practicing before the video it was actually ripping through all the plies. So that's why you saw me maybe go on here first just to get a little of the stickiness out. But if you have a lesser quality tape you probably won't have to do that. So then once you have that, you just slowly rip it off until you've taken, separated the plies of the napkin so that it's much thinner. Now if you're not sure if it's a two ply or a three, you're going to then take it again and try to rip. And if it rips the napkin, 
then it was just two and you're good. But sometimes you'll be surprised to find that there's another layer, even if it looks like there isn't. I'm trying to remember which one had three layers that I had. Let's see if this one does. Obviously, you don't want to try that test on it on a part of your napkin that you love. Sometimes the edge, if they have the little dotted spots, a good place to try it. Let me see if I can show you what a three ply looks like. Oops, see how that just ripped that? This tape is far too sticky. Okay, there's one layer. Let's see if there's another layer underneath that. I'm going to take some of the stick off. Yep, there is. Is there? No, there isn't. See how there's a little hole there? Then we know it's not. Okay, maybe it's this one that had three ply. I really want you to see because when you're decoupaging, it's really important to get to that final layer. And sometimes you think you are and you're not. So this one obviously looks very thin. But then... Oh good, it is this one. Here's the third layer, and you're gonna see the difference. I'll try to only peel it on one side so you can see the difference. Well, you never thought you'd get such an education on napkins, did you? Okay, so maybe you can see the difference here. This is when I only have one ply taken off, so there's still two plies there, and then that is with the second ply taken off. You see the difference how sh much sheerer it is? The more sheer it is, the better your decoupage is going to look. It's going to look like it just sort of melts right into what you're putting it on. So you really do want to get to that, that last layer. Sometimes it will say on the napkins if it's two ply or three ply, but like on this one, it doesn't really say anything. So you have to kind of do the little test to kind of find out. So we're going to start with this shell here, and I really love this napkin, I really do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see what part of, what part I want to isolate. And that's just sort of like trying to, you know, kind of decide what you like. Okay, I think I know what I like. So you can do it two ways. You could take scissors and try to cut around the area you want, which is perfectly fine. But I think when you decoupage, a hard edge is easier to see. If it's a jagged edge, it looks, um, it just sort of fades in better and, and it just looks better. Decoupage is very much about imperfected edges. It's not a clean thing. So I'm gonna use my water, um, color brush but you could use um, a q-tip or just a, a regular brush it's fine and you just want to make a little line like you're drawing the outside with water of what you want to isolate and what that does is it gives you a spot to rip on and it rips so effortlessly compared to trying to rip it yourself or trying to cut it. So now I take my shell and I'm trying to decide how I want this to be on my shell. And I think I want to separate this out too for now. I might use it, I might not, we'll, we'll find out. But I know I want to start slow. So I'm going to start just with this piece here at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, it's a little windy, so I need to keep that down. So now I take my Mod Podge, which I have a little, um, Mod Podge like tends to dry really quick. So I, I water mine down a little bit, especially when I'm doing decoupage like this, because I think it, it, it's, it makes it a little bit more sheer and it's easier to work with. And I keep it in a little tub with a container, uh, with a cover so that if I don't use it, it stays fresh. You just want to put a little down where you want to put your napkin. Okay. Then you start with the edge like that and you just lightly tap it where you want it. 
and then with your brush lightly and I can't emphasize lightly enough because the napkin is very delicate you just want to push down the edges don't go over the top yet I'm finding that on the shell it rips very easily you might want to have it dry a little bit you just want to go around all the edge parts and you can kind of you can either put fold this over and decoupage inside which I actually like that very much so I'm gonna do that and just do this edge now I'm on a paper towel just because it's easier for you to see um, on the camera but I like to work on glass because it doesn't stick so I'm gonna peel that down and put that on there otherwise I think the napkin would stick to this paper towel and it would pull it away so you don't want to mess with that at all because you really need that to dry that layer so now I'm going to decide, do I want to put this up here? Do I want a little coming out this way? You know what? I really like the unbalanced going down. I do like that. So I think I need something very light up here um, and something that's not so strong as this blue, but I absolutely love that. So I'm going to put that aside. Um, I might use that on something else. Let's see. Going back to this napkin, I'm going to look at some things. Now, I like the I like the color of that starfish, and I like the yellow of the coral. I actually like that it has that edge there too. Let me try something. I'm going to move this aside. I'm actually going to take the paper towel away, only because I think on glass it's easier. To work on okay so I'm going to take my pen and I'm just going to go around kind of rip as I go and as you can see a napkin that has a lot of graphics on it you you can get quite a bit out of it you know there's a lot to work with here and you just want to go slow Kind of rip that graphic out. There we go. Okay. That actually would have been really pretty too. Okay, so now I really like this. Hmm. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Okay, so I'm actually going to separate this and decide do I want to just put a little something up there which is nice oh, my dog has the hiccups <laughs> can you hear her or I can put something at the top going down hmm I can't hear you guys what do you think you know, you're all yelling at me right now to do a certain thing, and I'm probably not going to do what you're asking. I think I'm going to stick with this. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little of my, my Mod Podge, and I'm going to paint that on. And don't worry if you go past the area you're going to um, glue, because it's going to dry. It's going to dry clear. My son picks this very time to move his car. Okay. I'm going to paint that down just to, just to tap it down a little. Now when it's not straight, you kind of have to gently pull it where you want it. Oh, sorry about that, my son's moving his car. Probably not realizing that I'm outside recording and then around here I can pull this down and again decoupage that in which we can try if we don't like it I can just peel it away 
So it's, it's simple to try something and then decide if you don't want it to stay. I don't think I want this part to stay, but I might want a little of the edge to stay. So I can just peel that away and then just paint it down. I hope that, I don't, it was so peaceful out here when I started and of course now it's become busy. I really hope the sound isn't too aggravating to you all. Okay. I really like that. That's really pretty. Can you picture that like in a platter with some sand around it and some sea glass? It's just so simple, but yet so pretty. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take, um, this is dry now, so now I'm gonna go over the top. And when you go over the top, you, again, you have to be so very gentle because you don't wanna break apart the graphic at all. And because this is glass, I, it's great because I can just scrape that away after. Okay. And again, you could paint a varnish on this, an outdoor varnish, or you could um, spray paint it with like a Rust-Oleum. Look how pretty that is. That's really nice. Okay, I'm not gonna mess anymore with that. I mean, I could do the inside too, but Chances are I'm just gonna have it like this, so I'm gonna keep it like that. And I wanna keep this video short, cause really, this isn't the most complicated project. So the other thing I have is a sand dollar. Now, um, sand dollars are so pretty as they are, so I just want to be very careful that whatever I put on here, I'm really happy with. I kind of love this Live Simply graphic. Just the, I know it's not ocean, but it's, all right, something is weird here. I feel like there is another layer, even though it didn't come off. Unless it's just, it could just be a delicate, let me see. Let me first go around. You know, I think sometimes we match ocean with ocean, but I could see a really pretty f floral, vintage floral on this. I could see like a gingham. Um, there, you know, napkins come in so many beautiful patterns. It doesn't always have to be beach. And sometimes, you know, other things fit just as well. I mean, I really kind of like this Live Simply right here. I, I think I have to get the word though away from the eucalyptus though, if that's what that is. I don't even know if that's what that is. Yeah. And it's got that little shadow. I don't know if you can see it. That's really pretty. And then I could do the Live Simply. Let's see. Now, let me just put this on first and see what I think of it. You know, if you're quick about it, if there's something you hate, you can always scrape it off. That's the nice thing. Mod Podge does um, dry very quickly, but it's also very water-based, so you could probably just put some water on it and scrape it off. Um, I'm gonna kind of like wrap it so it's not straight. I still feel like there could have been another layer under there. I'm gonna see in a second. Now because this is white and the sand dollar is white, I really want to try to get the wrinkles out because it will kind of just disappear right into the sand dollar if I do a good job. It's kind of pretty. Part of me feels like there was another layer that I missed and that it could have been a little bit more transparent. I just want to check that. 
No, I guess not. Alright, so now I might just want to put the live. Can't you just picture, you know, see, look, I kind of want a little bit more of that sand dollar to show. So I'm going to put just plain water right on top of where I actually had decoupage. And I'm just going to rub it off because I want more of that to show. I think if I did it again, I would probably just get closer to the graphic. are getting all kinds of sounds. We're getting dog sounds now. Because this isn't completely... Oh, and airplanes. Awesome. Because this isn't completely dry, I can get a lot of that out. I don't know if you can see that on there, but now we can see a lot more of the sand dollar. Okay, so then now what I think I want to do... So I want to make sure I'm really close to the live so that it, it really just goes right into the sand dollar. And I probably should do the simply first. That way I line it up right. See, I tried to rip it and that's what happens. Hmm. I should have done my water trick. I know better than that. So here's a couple ideas. If you're a beach lover and you also are a Christmas lover, you could make, you could get a bunch of sand dollars and use some really beautiful Victorian um, napkins and maybe make some ornaments for your tree. You could even do some a beachy tree. All right. Now let me get my live. And I'm going to put it just to the side a little. Oh, you know what I'm looking at now? It's a little, oh great, I just broke that. All right, that's okay. I have another napkin. I am now seeing, now that I said that, see that hole? If I had put um, napkins this way, I could have hung this. Oh my God. I could have made like a beautiful like C kind of thing here. And put a piece of um, uh, raffia or twine here and hung that on my window. How beautiful would that be? I'm going to do that off camera. Woo! I love this. This is such a fun project to play at. Oh, you know what? This hole simply just is just not working for me. I mean, it is, but I think I didn't do a good job on that particular word. So did you see how easily I ripped that out? Okay, so take two on the live simply. All right, now I'm going to do this correctly. I'm going to cut that with my pen so I can tear it. Ah! All right. Arg! Arg! I might be able to salvage that. We'll see. All right, let's keep live over here. I'm really kind of a klutz. It's amazing that I do as well as I do, as well as I do seeing as that I am awkward to watch. Okay. Okay. So let's try the simply again. 
Sometimes it's tricky when there's words or something very, um, that needs to be a certain way because if it doesn't go down perfectly correct, um, straight, you'll see it. Okay, I think I'm fine. So see, I had ripped that M, but you're not really going to see it. All right. Well, well, maybe let me fix it. Now, I can't obsess about it too much because we're working with something so delicate. I am going to put some water down here, though, because I think I'm going to try to get some of that off of there. Ugh. Michelle, don't do too much. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to take my glue. Just dot it down. Oh my gosh, there's a breeze and all the little napkin parts are blowing around my yard to go and get that after. Okay, so I have my live I simply down. Now I need to ah, get my lid down. And I gotta tear carefully so I don't mess it up. Oh, I'm just barely holding on there. Okay. want to take, I don't want that little edge on there. Okay. So what I'm picturing on this one really is, you know, what if in a nice kitchen you took this and maybe you took some silver or gold metallic, um, some silver or gold metallic wax and gave it a little sheen. Maybe even pearlescent. Ooh, pearlescent might be really nice. Green pearlescent. And then after that, um, you, you had it in like a little tiny like dish holder or teacup holder so that it was standing up on a windowsill. Wouldn't that be pretty? And it would be sort of like botanical in nature, but it would also be very beachy too. So now that this is dry, I can come over with my glue and give it that top coat, which it really needs because you really need that glue to be on both sides of the napkin to adhere it. And if there is a wrinkle, I mean, that is the look of decoupage. You can't really get away from that, but you can try to smooth it out the best you can with your fingers. And don't get too hung up with the creaminess of the glue because it, it will fade as it dries. You're not gonna see that. And I think I can put it over the lip simply. Okay, so this was just two very small projects that I did in 20 minutes. Imagine what you could do in an afternoon with your friends or with your, um, with your kids, your grandkids. Um, it's just so fun and really neat to put these together. And like I said, like this with the ornaments, there's really no end to what you can do. It's really creativity. I was even thinking as I was making this one, can you imagine if you had um, this all decoupaged and the inside all decoupaged and then you glued in some moss and then you could put a little piece of sea glass? I mean, how adorable would that be? There's like a million gazillion things that you could think about doing with shells and napkins and glue. So fun. Ornaments and things like that. And uh, let, don't get me started on rocks, beautiful rocks. This could put a whole new level of the kindness Thing where people are leaving rocks everywhere. What if you decoupaged rocks? I mean, there are a lot of natural things that I think can be decoupaged to give it another uh, element. And let's face it, us uh, mixed media junk journalist people, we just want to decoupage everything. So that's it. That's my quick little Sunday fun day project. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, um, put them in the comments below. 
And here's the deal with the giveaway. I have some beach napkins. I have this one that has lots of like oranges and browns on it and shells and seahorses. I have this one that has all sorts of cute little um, beach things that it says. And then I have this gorgeous, um, this gorgeous one. Oh, and then I have, of course, my adorable seagull whale one. So I have these four napkins, which you could put on a piece of driftwood, which you could put on shells. I will send the winner all four of these napkins. Um, and you can put them on your projects. Now the deal is, if it's international, I'm going to take the two layers off for you because weight will be an issue. It might even be an issue for the um, domestic. I'll have to see. If it isn't, I'll leave all of the layers on so you can practice. But if not, I'll, I'll try to take the layers off so that I can keep it down to one envelope. I would like you to do two things for this giveaway, and that's it. I would like you to put a comment below about how you think you will use the napkins. And um, in other words, like what project would you like to um, uh, do? What, what are your ideas? And the second thing is, I would really love you to um, visit my Instagram feed, Tape and Twine. And if you're on Instagram, I hope that you will um, like my feed. I'm not going to force you to like it for this giveaway because it's such a small giveaway, but I would really appreciate it if you at least visited my um, feed and liked one of my pictures so I know that you at least saw it. That would be great. And I'll put that in the um, in the information below. That's it. That's my project. Thank you for hanging with me and honey. Um, I hope you have a great Sunday, a great week, and I hope you're having a wonderful summer. Bye-bye.